BP, man, it's so hard to go from 135 to 35 miles per hour and just lost control and slid into the tire barriers. When you're trying to hustle the car on pit lane and you get on that flat and it's real slippery right there. See all the marbles and the dirt and the rubber? When you hit that with a hot set of tires, it's like hitting ice. Oh, and on those tires full of water, that's quite an impact. Yes, it is. You see, you have to get, you have to get on the underside of those cones as well. And you talk about stopping. We got guys bouncing off each other in pit lane. Casey Kane and Jeff Green got together and nailed Terry Labonte. Watch when these guys leave. Watch Terry Labonte leave. The 43 comes out. The 9 gets squeezed in oh. by the 99 of Carl Edwards. Then Terry Labonte gets tagged in the right rear. There's only four wide on a three wide, three wide racetrack. So. It felt like those guys getting out a second time. You know, Jeff front Casey up against the fence there. Accidents happen the first time. You know, I talked about the very top of the show about pit road and, and you've got to be careful on pit road. And it can eliminate you. Watch as the 45 car, Kyle Petty, top of the screen, top of the screen, making the pit stop. He gets bumped from behind. Oh my goodness! By the 18 car, Bobby Labonte, and luckily his crew guys were able to get behind. Them. A lot of teams scuffed the tires before this race, and others coming down pit road. The fifth place car, Stephen Wallace, in 66 for his final stop. Hi, right, got a little crash here, and a little contact on pit road with Brendan Gone and Mark. I don't know where, which, where he's headed. He's headed to the garage. Yeah, the uh, Mark Davis headed to the garage area and gone. Gets a lot of damage. Heavy gone. damage. Here is area. Let's yeah. take a look at this one more time here, guys. Yeah, Brendan Gone has, a, has his pit right past this opening, and Mark Davis was just trying to get to the garage area. Really caught Brendan by surprise. I think Brendan thought that uh, Mark was going to stay going straight to his pit stall. And he hung a left. Unbelievable. Find me that dumped wannabe college graduate. Do not let him leave this brace track at all. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm talking about the kid. He's not leaving this track till he sees me. And uh, Rusty, a lot of frustration there. I mean, he's coming out for a pit stop, and the 10 car is turning. I mean, and that's, I mean, he's, he would have had maybe a top 15 finish. Yeah, it's it's a big time racing accident. I mean, it, things like that happen. There's no doubt about that. Jimmy Johnson says that he thinks he has a flat right rear tire, and that's why his car got up into the wall. It looks inflated at this point, but Ron Malik is working on the right rear of the car. Chris, too. Kurt Busch said the adjustments on the last stop did not help. This time, two tires, Matt. Right, right side tires only for Kyle Busch. Crash. Oh, crash with the 12. Kyle Busch coming out of his pit. Brad Keselowski trying to get in. And this is after Kyle almost had a collision with another car trying to get out of his pit stall. And with the 43 of Allmendinger. There's the first close call. Coming out around the Allmendinger car. Oh, that's a hard hit. That's going to do a lot of damage. Not only that, but Kyle Busch will be penalized for too fast X. Andy Lally was just a victim of circumstances. Oh, look at how hard this hit is. Ooh. For both those guys, those trucks are totaled. They really are, and that inside wall fortunately gave way a little bit by breaking. That was a good thing. That's a bad hit that Andy Lally takes. He almost runs, I mean, basically head on into the wall yeah. because of the angle that, that he hit it at. So that's what the forklift is for. They're going to grab one of those barriers. That's the damage, and that's just one portion of it. There's a, there's a section that has been pushed back. That's one area where there's a crack in the wall. If you move up just a little bit further, that wall is also cracked. And that's not good. That was off of Joey Logano's car. The gas man not able to pull that away from the car. And again, we mentioned this is different. Everything's backwards here at Watkins Glen. Take a look. It is backwards. The fuel man has to lean the other way. And you see right there, he's used to pulling the gas can the other direction when he tries to pull it to his left. It doesn't work. He gets stuck in the car. And that right there, it falls out. So he didn't drag it onto the racetrack. But almost at this point, you'd rather have him drag it onto yeah, the racetrack because it's going to be a penalty. He's going to have to come back into pit road. Came in for his scheduled stop going out of the pits. Just right there at the apron, at the exit of pit road, it's still damp. I, I just think it's four sticker tires, a little bit of moisture, and he gassed it up. And when he did, the thing went around. And now here's the 18 pulling that air gun out of his uh, pit box. 
and as anticipated, Mark Martin couldn't get the pin. No, no, he didn't get the left front on. Yeah, this 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 has went downhill fast. You know, Larry, it just it just never fails. Substitute drivers uh, with a different with a different team and different people, spotters, crew chief, really difficult. And on a track like this where it's so intense, passenger on that uh, two car leaving pit road. Like Brad Kozlowski had the jack with him. One of those years for this team, hadn't it? Coming back, but it's dragging pretty hard. Just trying not to break anything here. Be careful when it does come out, where it ends up. Well, it was missing a lug nut, huh? Hmm. Yep, they just. Uh, Get it. Looks like it didn't come completely down. Yeah, and it looked like he may have thought that they were going to continue to work on the left front a little bit there. You could see him doing that, and he was just kind of taking his time. It was a busy place, perhaps too busy for Brad Keselowski. Oh, oh. Wow, that was close. Because it's very abrasive up there. Oh, drop a car in the wall. Hermie Sadler has popped the wall hard coming down the main straightaway, so we've got a cost. Also broke the wall there. This is going to be a long caution here. He hit very, very hard. Boy, that crewman hit pretty hard, too, but that's a that's a tough place to Look hit right there. He hit right at the gate there, and it knocked part of the gate down. Look at that smoking over there. Is that the tire? Looks like a tire. Sure does. Oh, the tire off of it. It came through the wall, looks like. That's a hard place to hit when you hit the break in the wall like that. A testimony to how well the NASCAR safety regulations and how well Ernie Sadler's team put that car together, how well those things work together to protect the driver. Let's go to Chad Little on pit road. Back a moment ago, let's show you this one more time. Hermie Sadler had bounced off the outside wall. Oh, God. Mm. And there's the lick to the inside wall. Well, listen to it now and take a listen to this from our in-car camera. Let me tell you, that stings. Oh gosh, that stings. It just doesn't feel like it's into the racetrack. Oh, and Jimmy Johnson goes around. And this time he's hard in the wall. Not so lucky. Thought he had it saved there, Daryl. Caught the end of the pit wall. Get her going to the camp up. Really the same place as the spin earlier. Exactly. He was running in fifth place and he'll come in from the right side. There he is. I mean, it looks exactly what he happened to him earlier in the race. Same same thing right here, right here, right here. But you can see he had the wheels cut just a little bit and caught the end of the wall. This is what happens when you have guys coming in for fuel only. You have guys pulling in their pits and then guys pulling out of their pits before the trucks even get to their pits. So a lot of times you see people with some issues. Austin Dillon, that 24 blue and white truck right there, is going to have an issue when he tries to leave his pits. Max Gresham, the eight, will turn in. You see Austin has to stop. And then Max stops. Austin has to stop against so Austin. Loses, loses several more positions before he can get out. And we saw pitting and strategy become a big part of the equation last week in Iowa. Whoa, this doesn't look good. And that can't be comfortable. No, but it was a good athletic move to keep himself from getting hurt. He the race car is finally in the track. They're going to make an air pressure adjustment. Tony Stewart. The only cars that have not stopped are David Reagan, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Denny Hamlin of those cars that are on the lead lap. On the last pit stop, watch uh, Tony Stewart coming out. Watch the crewman right there get bumped by the rear, by the rear spoiler of Stewart's car, sends one of Greg Biffle's crew to the ground. Wow. That's and here's Steve. 